Father God, it's me again. I'm back. I want to share how thankful I am to be chosen, to be used as an instrument to cast out demons, to unmask hypocrites, to return to sender karma. I'm asking you to use my life to bring light And encourage those that are being persecuted by all types of low vibrational magic. Bring light to all those that have married into demonic bloodlines. That have divorced these demonic bloodlines and are still being persecuted by these demonic bloodlines. I'm asking you to recollect that my hands remain clean. When you brought to my awareness of their plotting, of the fact that they were doing divination work on me, and my household, and my business affairs, and my personal affairs, and everything concerning me without my knowledge, I walked with wisdom and waited for your instruction as to how to defend myself and how to move forward. I also, God, want you to recollect that every spell work that has returned to sender was created by them. Everything that you send with energy is created. Therefore, if the recipient refuses it, They send it back to sender, rightfully so. And so all these prayers and curses and psalms they read in war with me enlighten those around them. I know they have no hope, the ones that are actively working against me, but the ones that are surrounding them. Acknowledge, help them to acknowledge the fact that they are not being attacked by black magic. They are receiving their black magic. In fact, make your light shine and prove That every prayer that I do is in connection to back to sender. And so it is not necessary for me to do any types of magic. That you taught me the art of war. You taught me to allow them to fool themselves, to allow them to believe they're in power, and then to allow them to fall in their traps. This is why you use me to warn them time and time and time because you wanted for when this day, when this season arrived, that they would have no excuses, that they cannot say that they weren't warned, 
that they cannot say they didn't know that they didn't that they didn't know that they cannot say that it is not fear because they postponed and postponed and postponed their judgment by utilizing spell work to avoid karma to push back the judiciary system to push back getting arrested thank you God for revealing to me their end thank you God for revealing to me how they will pay Thank you, God, for revealing to me that victory is already mine. And that you are allowing this process to be publicized. So that everyone can witness their ignorance, their weakness, their loss before beginning. Acknowledge the fact, Father, that everything was strategized by them. Due to their greed. Due to their awareness that they were are worthless. Due to the awareness that they know they cannot create. They cannot achieve. They cannot build. They are cursed. Yet they continue to do glamour spells in the public so they can be in pretense of how blessed they are, how you're covering them. Meanwhile, they are harvesting energy from those that are of a higher vibration. Unmask the peasants. Unmask the demons. Unmask the concubines. Unmask the prostitutes. Unmask the gigolos. Unmask the pimps. Unmask the drug dealers. Unmask the child abusers, unmask the rapists, unmask the thieves, unmask the Judas. Unmask the death mistress with the name Morgue. Um, Unmask all fairy gone wrongs. Unmask everyone in association to them, everyone in connection to them, everyone in collaboration to them. Bring the spirit of prayer into this atmosphere. Help the collective rise up and give the opposition several seats. Return to sender everything that they have sent to our minds, our mental capacities, causing us to be forgetful or to not focus or to be in some type of mental illness or they go to the extreme of aneurysm or Cancer or dementia or Alzheimer's, all of it. Return it back to sender. Return back all the blindness that they sent. All the darkness they want to keep us to. All the visions they want to block us from. All the dreams that they want to retrieve before we retrieve them. 
Block all of their efforts to intrude into our minds, into your plans, into our downloads. Block all those efforts. Remove all of their gifts in relation to downloads, in relation, in relation to visions, in relation to dreams. In re- we want back our gifts. We want back our energy. We want back our birthright. We curse every gift stolen, every money stolen, every promise stolen, everything stolen from us. We curse it. May it curse them. May it continue to curse them. May it continue to spiral and curse them and go down generation to generation to generation. Whether it is money, whether it is property, whether it is talent, whether it is creativity, whatever it is that they have stolen, whether it is the locks of our hair, whether it is our nail clippings, whether it is a clothing that belongs to us, whether it is glasses, a piece of jewelry, anything they stole to do black magic, anything they stole to put in a doll, to use as a voodoo doll, to torture, to pin, to hammer every picture that they stole from online, every effort they made by downloading pictures and throwing darts on them and trying to make people blind with their efforts, their low vibrational efforts to harm and, and, and cancel out. We return it all back to sender. Thank you for giving me the vision to see all of their hypocrisy, all of their Attempts, all of their rituals, all of their full moon rituals, all of the sacrifices that they make, all of the animals that they're killing, all of the blood that they are drinking. They think we don't see, but we see. We have spiritual camera access and we see all of their efforts all of their efforts in sex magic to utilize sex magic to manipulate others to manifest others that do not want that trash in their lives that do not want that dirty infected, cursed bloodline in their life. Reveal to them that we see that when they flare up, when they get their, um, all their STDs, STDs flare up, all their STIs flare up and they get their rashes and their blisters and their odors and their disgust. Reveal to them that we see it. Reveal to them that we smell it. Reveal to them that they stink. And that they should utilize their time in washing their evil. Washing their dirtiness. Washing for help. Their efforts in using candles and rubbing the candles on their rashes, rubbing their candles on nasty discharges, rubbing the candles on any parts of their infected leprosy-like skin curses that have returned to sender, that they hide with makeup. That they hope nobody find out. 
That they wear long sleeves so nobody can see. The discolorations in their skin. The black spots. From chasing waterfalls. We're asking you to shed light. Protect the environment. Protect the people. Protect the community from their curse. Remove them from all those that are healthy, all those that are serving you, all those that are blessed, all those that are favored, all those that are eager to follow your next direction. Even in their ignorance, make it clear to them That an apology will not take away their earned karma. That I'm sorry will not take away their death spells. I'm sorry will not take away their cancers. I'm sorry will not take away their prostate cancers. It will not take away their brain cancers. It will not take away their lung cancers. It will not take away their skin cancers because They created the energy and the excuse of I was high, the excuse of I was under the influence of alcohol, the the excuse of that I was under a spell is not valid. That all debts will and must be paid. Thank you for encouraging us in patience by reminding us their downfalls, by reminding us the dreams that you've given us, by reminding us that they have a due date to leave, to never come back, to leave dark legacies. And for it to continue generation after generation. They've showed no mercy to our children. They've showed no mercy to our lineage. They've cursed our children. They've attacked our children. They've cursed everything that loves us. Everything that's for us. Us, everything that support us. So we return it back to sender. They cursed us so that we will never find love. So we return it back to sender. They cursed that we will never be in a loving partnership. So we return it back to cancer. Thank you for delivering us from evil. Thank you. So for providing love. The way we want to be loved. Confirmation. Thank you for providing love. The way we want to be loved. Thank you for surrounding us with love. The way we deserve to be loved. Thank you for giving us those that we can love in return. Thank you for giving us those that we can care for in return. Thank you for giving us those that we can continue to grow with in return. Thank you for giving us fertility. Thank you for growing us and multiplying us. Thank you for all the favors over our lives and those of our kids. Thank you for the light that you shine in our mind, on our physical, in our spiritual. Thank you for helping us stand firm, stand encouraged, stand assured that the witch is dead. In fact, the coven is dead. In fact, all the the low vibrational accompanies whoever and whatever accompanies them, whatever is an alliance with them, is dead already. 
that the clock is ticking. Thank you for enlightening us that October is the month to send back to sender. Oh, yes. October is the month to send back to sender. And so is November. And help us to collectively, daily, send it back to sender. Connect all the prayers of the righteous, not the sinners, not the hypocrites, not the wannabes, not the ones in delusion, not the ones who've stolen, not the ones who've lied, not the ones who've killed, not the ones who've attacked, not those, but the prayers of the righteous. Let it be continued to be lifted higher and higher and higher and higher and closer to you. And your to-do list. And thank you in advance. For all the prayers that you've already answered. From all the revelations that you've already given. That we are in victory. That we are. The teachers. Of the pioneers and the trailblazers. That we are binded to you. That every attack that they send to us, they send to you. Enlighten the imbeciles. That their attempts to binding to us. To receive our protection. To receive our coverage will backfire. Because we send their curses Back to sender. And the fact that they attempt to bind to us. The fact that they attempt to do energy harvesting. the, the Their attempts in trying to pry and spy and look into our Akashic records and everything that is personal and private that is already covered and sealed. Give them enough intelligence. I know that will be a hard task, God. But nothing is hard for you. Give them enough intelligence that they would understand that the fact that they bind themselves to us and that they curse us is it's showing their stupidity because as you bind yourself to us and that as we block you and as we cut all energetic ties to you, every curse that was sent, you receive. Oh, yes. Tell the fake teachers that. Tell the students who are the blind, being led by the blind that. That as you bind yourself to those that are chosen, to those that are favored, to those that are high vibration, and you still curse them, and you still envy them, and you still wish death on them, that you're binding yourself to death. You're binding yourself to sickness and disease. You're binding yourself to poverty. All the money blockages that they're sending. And then they're binding themselves to us. (laughs) God, thank you. Thank you for teaching us back to sender thank you for giving us the power of back to sender thank you for giving us the weapon of back to sender every money block consent they receive every career tower they send it's returned back to them Every plot confirmation, every plot that they send that is in negative energy is returned back to them. In fact, they are cursed from 
attempting. I said attempting. I said attempting to disturb us from doing your work. That every time they send any attempt, any joke, any insanity our way, that it is return back to sender, that they will live in poverty for the rest of their days, that they will live in sickness and disease for the rest of their days. That they will live in mental anguish, depression, the suicidal um, spell work that they sent, the the everything that they sent, all the mental disorders that they sent, all the possessions by demonic forces that they sent, that it is binded to them. In fact, bind it again, God. Bind it again, all the death spells they sent. Bind it again, all the sickness they sent. Bind it again, all the money blockage they sent. Bind it again, all the poverty they sent. Bind it again, all the curses they sent. Bind it again, all the hexes they sent. Bind it again, everything that we know that we don't know. Bind it again. And bind it to the spiritual spiritual practitioners that utilize the excuse of this is business. As you bind them to their curses that they've created, remind them that this is also business, that as they have business to curse us due to low vibration that has afforded them some pennies stolen, that it is business to return it to sender. It is business to take away their gifts. It is it is business to curse their practices. It is business to break down their businesses. It is business it is business to keep them in poverty. It is business to expose them. It is business to receive your wrath. It is business. We are actively in a spiritual war. And those that want to be in business, those that want to continue to curse, those that want to continue to persecute, those that want to continue to be on the in the, in the side of the darker forces, those of us, those of them that want to continue to gossip, to continue to do smear campaigns, continue to defame people's characters, continue to plot, continue to do whatever low vibrational exercise that they do. It is business to receive their karma. Make this reality so true in their lives that all their circles will begin to run. (laughs) Will begin to run for their lives. Will begin to back up, back up because it's on. Will continue to expose. Will continue to contact authorities. And expose them because everything that they're hiding, everything that they are not releasing to authorities, utilize that to accumulate more curses, more curses, more curses until they open their mouths and confess and tell the authorities what is doing. Put more curses, more curses, more curses. In fact, all the curses that they sent. Because they've sent so many we can use from that well of curses that they attempted. Whether it is the fake prophets, the fake pastors, the fake church mothers, the fake um 
deacons, the fake deaconess, the fake choir members, expose them all in whatever capacity that they lent their energy. If it was lighting a candle, if it was participating in moon rituals, if it was lying, if it was stealing, if it was envy, if it was jealousy, if it was throwing stones and hiding hands, return it back to sender, whatever capacity that it was sent. Remove their covering and see your target. And annihilate every single participating persecutor. Annihilate every single participating practitioner. Annihilate every participating funder. Everyone who has put their money in to persecute in to benefit from a sacrifice in to bring blockages we ask you to curse them back in fact if we have pictures in our homes in their homes of us that they utilize to do black magic on on us. We ask you to curse their homes with our pictures. If there are voodoo dolls in their homes made with our belongings, our hair locks, our nail clippings, anything that they found on us or around us or from us or in our environment, we ask you to curse, make that voodoo doll curse their room, curse their house, curse their land, Curse every single thing in attachment to them. We thank you for the spirit of prayer. We thank you for the spirit of assurance. We thank you for the spirit of victory. Because we know that we know that we know. That we already won. (laughs) That all my efforts are being made for those that are coming behind me. That they too can stand up to those that were in illusions of being oppressors. That had spirit of grandeurs. They had spirit, spirits of God complexes, but were not worth Anything that will not amount to anything. That everything that descends from them will not amount to anything. We return it all back. Thank you for enlightening us all of the curses that we that were sent so we can we can send them back one by one. And we want you to continue. To show us, to tell us, to give us knowledge of all the efforts being made. So we can pray adequately. So we can pray in the spirit of assurance. So we can pray ASAP. We're done with boot camp, boot camp, God. We ready for war, God. We ready to slay, God. We ready to show what's up, God. And I know you stand in front of us in battle. I know you stand in back of us in battle. I know you stand side to side in battle. I know you stand Surrounding us in battle, confirmation in battle. And so in order to reach, to touch, to speak 
to us. They have to go through you. Protect us in our dream state. Thank you for showing us in power in our dream states. Thank you for showing us annihilating darkness, evil, and their minions in the dream state. Thank you for giving us power while awake and power while asleep. Thank you for giving us power all around. Thank you for fortifying to us to the point that we have enough power that we can teach power, that we can encourage in power, that we can even raise our children in power and so that they can defend themselves in power. God, we ready for war. Bring it. 